a while ago I decided I wanted to do a shoot based around a destructive relationship and I hit on the idea of using paint to represent the different conflicting emotions that you go through. I wanted it to seem amazing at first and kind of orgasmic and really exciting and the paint was going everywhere. And then I wanted the paint to fight, I wanted the different colours to play against each other. And then I wanted it to bog her down and the same things which were amazing at first kind of like start to dry and imprison her and cocoon her. And then she breaks out of it and moves away. When I first drew it out, I did not have a clue how I was going to do it. We set up these little paint cannons, which were like two inch tube with a piston in it and an inverse nozzle. And the piston sent down the tube, it pushes the paint out and you get this slug come down. And that was great. I thought, well, I'll make 10 of those and I can have different colors fighting and building the whole thing up. But I couldn't afford to make 10 of those. My friend, who became the model for it, said, look, just do it. Figure out how to do it in post. Let's just do this shoot and make it work. We knew how we were gonna do the cocoon and the escape. I'd done a lot of body casting in the past, so we decided to use plaster on the skin to form a statue and then just have her literally just break out of it and send the plaster everywhere. Because we're worried that the, the plaster will literally uh, remove any hair that's visible, we've tonged the hair, brought it back into the ponytail, so when we let it down, it should have a bit of movement, a bit of freedom to it. And then we covered it in, in uh, cling film, and we put these strings underneath, so hopefully we can peel the string, use the strings to peel the, cel the cellophane off from underneath the plaster, so when she comes out of the plaster, the hair will already be down, loose, and ready to go rather than being cellophane or still the bun. That's the cunning plan, but it's all a bit kind of, this is the first time we've tried it, so we'll see. Yes. Three, two, one, go. This is the Snow White Queen. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> very naughty. Nice <laughs> And Moa. Darling, scream me. Darling, sweet darling. That is the best woman in the world. Oh. Every, every movement <laughs> makes, makes the ring. <laughs> head in head, white pussy. <laughs> <laughs> darling, that's my art. If you go there, you're gonna see how good I am in colors. Once I got the basic images, it was time to figure out how to do it. The first thing I tried to do was use a program called RealFlow, which works brilliantly for anything in motion. But I found with this that creating my splash in 3D, I didn't really have the skills. And you give someone time to really analyze an image, the audience can really tell what's CG and what's not CG. Eventually I decided to make mannequins of Rolene in the different poses. So I choose the photo I was going to use, just print it out, 
lay out a wireframe and then just make a model, a three dimensional model of her in clay. And then what I did is I put it into a large box, the sides all painted, the white background. I used the original paint gun on the much smaller scale, so of course the splash looked much bigger. And from there I just simply took the images and merged them with the original images in Photoshop, just painting the two together very slowly. And that's how I achieved the final result. <laughs> so that's how we did the paint shoot. The images are going to go up as part of an exhibition called Short Stories, which is going to be held in the autumn in East London. If you want to check them out sooner, you can always head over to my Facebook page. If they've been reported and deleted from my Facebook page, because there's quite a lot of nudity in it, you can also check them out on my website. The links will be in the description below. If you like this video, or if you like any of the other videos, or you'll see all of them, check out my channel, subscribe to it, like it. I hope you like the pictures. See you later.